Wait a minute. Scorching heat? Molten rock? 2,000 degree temperatures? Our future is dependent on the future of our sun. As we look at our solar system, our sun is made mostly of hydrogen, burning away 93 million miles from the Earth. Our solar system was created 4.5 billion years ago by high pressure condensing of gases and metals to form the sun at the center, then the four rocky planets including us, then the gas giants. Early days of the sun and planet Earth were chaotic. The Earth had collisions with small planets, asteroids, meteors, and a lot of volcanic activity, and earthquakes. Our sun was the same, spinning fast as a top, lots of sunspots, and plasma ejections. At present though, our sun and planet Earth are settled in a quieter rhythm. Fasten your seatbelts as we fast forward. Our solar system won't always stay this way. Our sun is 4.5 billion years old, its full lifespan will be about 11 or 12 billion years. The Sun is made mostly of hydrogen with other gases and metals. Since birth through fusion, the Sun converts hydrogen into helium and will do so for another 5.5 billion years. Uh-uh. One thing though, at 11 billion years, it won't go off like a switch. Our Sun will put on a big show for the Earth. Fusion of hydrogen into helium produces our light and heat. It takes thousands of years for each molecule of energy to reach the corona of the Sun, but only minutes to reach Earth. As the Sun ages, this fusion will happen faster and will contract the core. The shell around the core, which also contains hydrogen, has more helium and expands. Whoa! Hold on to your seats! In even one million years from now, Earth temperatures will be 5 to 10 degrees hotter. In one billion years, the sun will be 30% brighter and the earth will be 100 degrees hotter. Too hot for life to survive on earth. In four billion years, our sun will go through the first of its final stages. The core will have used up most of its hydrogen and has shrunk due to pressures from the outer layers. The sun expands more and becomes a red giant. The outer layer expands so much, it cools a bit, putting on this red appearance. At this point, the temperature of the Earth is 2,000 degrees. Oceans boil off, rock is molten lava, and the atmosphere is stripped away from the Earth. Now, all of the hydrogen in the core is used up, and pressure on the core is so great, helium starts to fuse, making carbon and oxygen. Also, hydrogen is still fusing in the shell. This makes the sun pulsate and grows even bigger up to 30 times its present size and grows so big that it swallows Mercury, Venus and <laughs> possibly the Earth. Finally, the outer layers of the Sun are blown off and the Sun shrinks to the size of the Earth becoming a white dwarf. It is now too cool and if the Earth survives the red giant phase, the Earth becomes a frozen wasteland. You know, we have a long time to enjoy our sun because 5 billion years is a real long time.